Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that name um, His actual name is David So I'm just going to call it David uh, David's uh, Sinister Cup run uh, He is rocking Cresselia, Steelix, uh, Polyrath, Alolan Marowak, Mawile, and Dusclops And his first round opponent is Sir Sword Boys um, Rocking Lucario, uh, Steelix, uh, Polyrath uh, Alolan Marowak, Galates, rank, Rocking Triple Fighter, and Double Steel, and Probo Pass. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, these battles. Okay, alright. Um, gonna lead with Steelix, going to the Steelix matchup. And let's see how these two decide to, to play it out. Obviously, the Steelix matchups, you want to land the Earthquake, um, shield the Earthquake, if you're the opponent, if you're yourself, and then uh, you want to have a crunch shielded. So, looks like he's going to go for the shield, which he uh, correctly assesses. Perfect. And then, let's see. Uh, since this was, uh, since the charge move happened pretty early, it's definitely going to be a crunch. And then going to be able to farm down the opposing Steelix. Alright, going Polyrath versus Steelix. Gonna want to land this earthquake, which does quite a bit of damage. Switches into Dusclops. This is the hex variant of Dusclops, which does much better against uh, Polyrath than the Fan Attack version, because uh, hex is neutral and Fan Attack would be resisted. And going for these uh, Shadow Punches, uh, which will do a decent chunk into Alolan Marowak. This looks like a hex Alolan Marowak, so it does have to be careful about that Shadow Ball. So it's gonna shield, hopefully to shield the Shadow Ball, and it is. That's pretty good. And gonna build up a little bit of additional energy. Gonna go for this Shadow Punch. And almost able to take it out. And unfortunately, get speed to the charge move. Uh, likely a Shadow Ball. And it is. And gonna come back into Steelix. Does have the switch window up, which is a little <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, but to be honest, it probably worked out a little bit better. Because uh, definitely didn't want this Polyrath to farm. Uh, immediate switch out into Polyrath, but that Polyrath is super low. Both these Pokemon are super low. Unless unless uh, Sword Boys has Hydro Pump, uh, this match is pretty much over. Ice Punch. And then just going to be able to farm it down. A little risky play, but it's quite alright. Uh, and able to take it out with a Shadow Ball, even though a, a Bow Club would have been uh, more than sufficient. So GG. And then uh, we are going to move on to... Oh, okay. Looks like we only had one match. Okay, that's weird. Okay, Aries, <laughs> we're going to uh, Hammond Kid. It looks like he lost the match. Uh, or lost the footage. Uh, anyways, that, that was weird. <laughs> and it was going to go into uh, Polyrath. This Polyrath. Uh, he is carrying the dynamic per punch version. I'm not sure why he's taking so long to build up energy. And missed a few bubbles. That's quite all right. Um, and let's see uh, what variant. Uh, oh, no, it looks like he's only rocking power up punch. I'm going to switch out into Steelix. That's uh, kind of a crazy switch. I'm not really sure why, why that switch occurred. But regardless, uh, it does draw the shield. Maybe it was a... Uh, a little bit of mishap. Don't doesn't okay. Doesn't need shield. Would definitely survive uh, this crunch, and it's gonna build up a little bit of energy in case the Steelix decides not to shield, and they're gonna be able to KO. It does decide to shield, and gonna really want to get to this um, dynamic punch, but not able to. This crunch will KO, and probably gonna go into uh, I'm not uh, Steelix. I guess yeah, Steelix. Oh uh, no, going to Dusclops, interesting. Gonna immediately uh, fire punch uh, the Steelix. It probably makes more sense to do it that way, but gonna go, I'm surprised it's going into Polyrath. Must have something weak. Uh, uh, a little Marowak, okay, sorry. And gonna hit the shadow punch and doesn't even necessarily need to shield uh, could go into steelix and then finish off with uh, with crunch 
does bait the shield with uh, the bone club, but to, it's a little too little little too late uh, uh, in this matchup. Go to bone club again. Interesting. And able to take game number one in round number uh, uh, two. Going to get a uh, lead with Mawal into Driftblind, which is a very positive lead. Going to switch out into Steelix. Going to look to hit this power-up punch. This, in this matchup, Steelix does have to land the Earthquake. Uh, these crunches will be resisted. So going to switch out into Fire Spin, Alolan, Marowak. But kind of a tough switch in just because uh, the Steelix has built up so much energy already. Uh, going to be able to land another crunch. And this Lone Marowak is looking to Bone Club, uh, which will put uh, the Steelix at pretty low health. Uh, unfortunately, he decides to steal shield. And then again, we're we'll going to see the Steelix at pretty low health after this Bone Club. And one more Fire Spin and able to take it out. And here comes Drift Blim. Surprised the no fainting down. A little bit of an odd strategy. Going for the Ominous Win. Let's see if the boost comes through. It does not. Here comes Mawile, just absolutely chewing away at this Drift Blim. Uh, like, likely this is just an ominous win, uh, so it doesn't necessarily need to shield. Wants to conserve these shields for Cresselia, but I can't imagine too many things in the back that could uh, could beat uh, Cresselia, especially with the with the upper shield. And then gonna force this Alolan Marowak to do a charge move, which is Bone Club. I'm gonna switch into Cresselia, and this is like pretty much GG's. Even landing in a Shadow Ball here won't won't KO Cresselia. So let's see if this is a Bone Club. It is a Bone Club bait, and looking to KO and going to KO with this Future Sight and able to to take game number two in round number two. Let's see if they play out a third. No, they do not. Okay, going up against. Three one seven four three seven five three five five. I'm just gonna call it three. Uh, rocking a interesting team: a primate, Slowbro, Bastodon, Driftblim, Mawile, and uh, Dusk uh, Dusclops does get the lead, which is pretty big. I'm gonna switch out into Dusclops. Uh, th these night slashes um, are gonna do a lot of damage, and gonna look to land another one can definitely land another one because can can easily survive this uh, shadow punch okay all right interesting well may not easily but can definitely survive it and they're gonna have to put up a shield just because these night slashes are gonna do a lot of damage and uh, definitely the primate has to worry about being KO'd and not quite oh I'm surprised they didn't get there but Sure, it was pretty close. And then here comes Drift Blim. Interesting. Why come Drift Blim? Must have Slow Bro in the back. And unfortunate for three. Uh, got hit by the charge move before it could get off theirs. And yeah, it's not a great situation at all for. Uh, except no shields. Gonna go back into Mawile after the energy reset. And this is not good at all. Well, interesting, kind of Mawile in the back. Hmm. Kind of a weird strategy, but it's quite all right. All right, uh, gonna hit another power up punch. Uh, this damage is definitely adding up onto this Mawile. And unfortunately, this opposing Mawile is not going to be able to uh, to uh, do very much. And they might end up oh, close to a simultaneous KO, but this is pretty much a wrap. Uh, so taking game number one in round number three. And here comes Steelix into Dusclops. Let's see what variance of Dusclops this is. This is the Hex variance, which does favor Steelix. Uh, just have to go for the crunch. Nothing too complicated. 
while the opposing dust clubs will continue to fire punch. Going for earthquake, which I don't think is the right move. Um, yeah, my that's like might be the only situation where Steelix loses this matchup in even shield scenario. Well, maybe not. Um, well, this crunch will probably go through. Yeah, and I'm not sure what the logic of going for Earthquake was. Crunch is uh, definitely more than sufficient. Gonna get hit by, nope, just barely fainted. And so let's see what three has in the back. It's gonna be Drift Blim. Not a great situation. So must have Mawile in the back again or Bassadon. And doesn't necessarily need to shield, but it's definitely advantageous to shield. Ends up in a CMP tie. I'm going to hit this uh, Ice Punch, which it would KO if it doesn't shield. So must have something very weak to Polyrath in the back. And it is Bastidon. Nice switch, uh, but it's a little too late. Um, but that switch is probably the, the best this person can do. Um, Gonna hit the dynamic punch, which will almost KO. Unfortunately, not able to burn the shield. And then uh, I imagine a shield comes up. Nope. Okay. All right. Gonna let it go. Has Mawile in the back. Oh, gonna survive too. Okay. No, it has a little Marowak in the back. What I'm talking about. Not Mawile. And able to KO with this fire spin, a lowly Marowak. So taking. Game number two in round number three. And now we're going to game number three in round number three. Uh, leading Polyrath into Mawile. This is a very favorable situation for... Okay, this is not good. Wants to get out of there. I'm not sure why doing the dynamic punch as opposed to just switching out. Uh, but at least put a little bit of pressure onto... Oh, come, coming Cresselia. Interesting. I guess that makes sense because uh, uh, Dusclops has a better matchup against uh, Mawile than... Um, Wow, going psychic, interesting. I'm surprised like not water pulse or or uh, ice beam. And get gets a shield. Um, and here comes another psychic. Priscilla definitely could have survived that psychic and survived these subsequent confusions. And here comes Mawile. Oh man, nice switch out into Mawile. It's definitely chunking away at this Cresselia. And then there goes Future Sight. Could have switched out, but that's quite right. And now does have to worry a little bit about potential play rough. But is confident that this is just a power-up punch. Oh, it ends up being a play rough. Jesus, okay. Wow, okay. That was very costly. Um, uh, will it make a difference? Uh, let's see what's in the back. Let's see what's in the back. Okay, opposing Dust Clops. Ah, uh, man, may or may not matter. Um, I think it will end up mattering. Uh, oh, let's it go through, too. Jesus, okay. That is a very odd strategy. All right, here comes a Shadow Punch. This is not going to KO. And as long as he doesn't do a charge move. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What the hell did you do a charge move for? What the heck? Okay, well, uh, three just definitely cost himself that match. Um, I think that charge move was very unnecessary. Um, might might have still end up losing. I don't. Know, it would have been pretty close. But we're gonna move on to game game number four in out of five. Gonna lead this Mawile. It's unfortunately a fire spin, a little Marowak, um, which is not good for. Uh, David at all and the immediate switch out into Medicham um, not gonna have to shield this first power up punch and does want to go for this okay gonna leave it actually gonna go well, what the heck why wouldn't go into dust clops okay that was a very strange strategy 
and choosing your dynamic punch instead of ice punch um, and getting, getting shielded playing to be honest pretty poorly uh, in this match uh, been playing pretty decent up into up until this match but gonna KO'd and then here comes Dusclops and his opponent is lagging like crazy or something I don't know that was very this is a very strange turn of events And just gonna get freely KO'd. Um, hmm. If he somehow wins this, this is a very strange match. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> David able to win that match. Um, to be honest, not. Well, maybe he's gonna win. I don't know. We'll see. Gonna switch out to Medicham and gonna want to land a psychic. Uh, if this is a power up, oh, yeah, ice punch. All right, okay. Um, and then David somehow th this this particular match was uh, riddled with errors on, on both sides, so not that impressive of a play. Um, but regardless, um, taking game number one in round number four. And leading uh, Mawal into Polyrath. Uh, this is a mud shot uh, Polyrath. So let's see what moves of potential can have. Switching in Driplim onto Dusclops. Um, if this Dusclops does commit to two shields, uh, it can win out this matchup versus uh, Driplim. Um, Driplim a little squishy. Dusclops much tankier, even though it has weaker moves. Uh, choosing not to shield, expecting it to be an ominous win, which ends up being a little bit of a risky play, uh, but gonna go for this uh, Shadow Punch and ends up in a CMP tie. Um, and not gonna let it, not gonna shield. Gonna let Mawile. Uh, oh man, got the buff though. Jeez, okay. All right. Unfortunately, not a good situation at all. Uh, has Polyrath. That's oh, a submission. <laughs> Oh god, this is <laughs> what on round four? Wow. Okay. The <laughs> uh, so submission has the same energy cost as. Uh, let me just double check that. Um, okay. Wow. That was uh, this is crazy. Um, this <laughs> looks cool though. It's same energy cost as uh, dynamic punch, but uh, it is uh, thirty less energy. Not that it really mattered that much. Uh, gonna go for the Earthquake. Uh, this Earthquake is not gonna KO. Uh, unfortunately, it's gonna get KO'd here, but this Mawal uh, will probably be able to bite down on this, uh, this Steelix or hit this Power Up Punch. We'll see. Lagging a little bit. And then here comes the power-up punch. Able to take out the Steelix. And then able to take out the Drift Blim uh, and take a, well, okay, take number two. Um, that was in like a pr losing the lead, uh, which is which is not great. Let's see uh, what version of Marowak this is, the Fire Spin variant. So not in a particularly great situation. This fourth round is nuts, like, a submission polyrath. Nice switch in uh, to May Champ able to catch this crunch. Uh, let's see, has both those situations are pretty good. Um, obviously, this uh, it's going to be ice punch. No, oh, ends up being power up punch. Does this person not have? Oh, maybe I'm thinking the last match. Actually, I'm not sure if I've seen. Uh, many champ from this person's lineup yet. Uh, let's see what this is gonna be. A psychic, maybe? Oh, ice punch. Okay, it was an ice punch. Was I remembering? I don't know. So so many matches in my head. Uh, don't shield. And ends up just being a power up punch. And. 
And then here comes Alolan Marowak. Has a bunch of energy loaded. Should be able to land two Shadow Punches pretty easily. And... Able to land it again. And then land one more for good measure. Um, got a ton of energy. And it's like no shield. Uh, this is a Bone Club. It's just barely not going to faint and end up in a simultaneous KO, but up two shields to zero. Can basically just pick whatever he wants. Uh, ends up going into uh, Cresselia, which is not particularly great. Um, going for the Bulldoze. And then here's the Future Sight. Um, I think Rorby might be better. Uh, and actually, no, it's uh, Future Sight's probably just slightly more energy efficient, even though uh, Bronze on double resisted. This is not a great matchup for Cresselia, but that's quite all right. Um, gonna go for the Future Sight again. It was up two shields anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then just needs to hit one more, even a Roar Beam. Uh, would probably be fine or like one additional confusion after after this one gets applied uh, and it should be GG oh good gonna go for the roar beam just for good measure and able to take it out and now we're gonna move on to round number five in uh, in this five round tournament going against red hunter TL uh, with double steel triple steel uh, single fighter uh, Alolan Marowak, in this case, Firespin and Haunter. So, this matchup does favor Alolan Marowak. Don't have to do anything too fancy. Can just straight Bone Club. Obviously, has to avoid avoid this Earthquake. Uh, let's see if a shield comes up or not. A shield does come up. And gonna land this uh, Bone Club. Oh, and. Probably no shield. Um, let's see what Red Hunter does. No shield. And then going to look to farm down this Steelix. Okay, all right. Um, looks like they had some some weird texts going on. So so he's obviously censored this video before sending me. And ended up shielding a Bone Club, which is which is pretty huge. I'm actually surprised that it didn't get to, uh, to Shadow Ball after um, fainting it down. So... Anyways, coming into Bastodon, Jesus, okay. Uh, whoa, okay, why? And <laughs> that's that's absolutely terrible. Um, not gonna shield. Uh, must have a tank in the back. Steelix or Mawile? Um, Mawile, I definitely would've went Mawile instead of Bastodon, because I think Mawile, even though it has a poor match against Polyrath, has a much better matchup, um, but gonna shield, and then can really just ice punch at this health. To be honest, like doesn't need to do anything. Oh no! <laughs> okay, this small while is aggressive and able taken out by this fire spin. That was uh, some strange play. In round number five, and gonna lead Alolan Marowak into Medicham. Uh, gonna if takes this win, takes a five round championship. Uh, and Haunter comes in just absolutely decimating this uh, uh, Alolan Marowak. Got a Shadow Punch. Uh, can really just Bone Club. Uh, I expect this Haunter to shield. And unfortunately, this Haunter got a little too greedy. Uh, expect a double shield. Let's see if a double shield comes up. No double shield. Interesting. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. I probably would have double shielded and uh, farmed up a little bit of energy or quite a bit of energy. Uh, but <laughs> kind of doing the same thing here with Steelix, but uh, it's quite all right. Um, I expect the Medichamp to come back out. Does get the Earthquake. And then here comes Maycham. Unfortunately, not a great situation uh, for David at all. And gets a no shield. And here comes Steelix. Um, Steelix is going to be in a world of trouble. But 
Oh, ends up having dynamic punch as well, so that's not good. Uh, goes for the second dynamic punch before... Um, char oh, it goes for ice punch bait. Okay, that probably would have actually KO'd uh, as well, or at least the counter afterwards would have KO'd. Going to go for this crunch to, to bait the shield. Eh, not necessarily in the clear against this polyrath. Um, yes, it is. Okay, all right. They're going to move on to uh, game number three in... Um, uh, in round number five, this is for the championship. This is for everything. Uh, not in a great situation at all. Obviously wants to switch into this Dusclops. Let's see where the switch out comes to. Comes into Haunter, but unfortunately Haunter is uh, is not in a particularly great situation against this Dusclops. Surprise coming in uh, this way. Uh, this Dusclops can double shield and faint down this Haunter. Well, at least I think. Let's see if uh, this is how they decide to play it out. Uh, should be able to. Um, let's see if he shields or not. He does not shield. Really wants that. Wow, Carol, I am a little surprised, but it's very risky play. Oh, man. Here comes a Shadow Punch. And then here comes Medichamp with this Dynamic Punch. How does he pull this off? Does get the earthquake? Uh, does Red Hunter not have a shield? Oh, okay. He doesn't have a shield. Oh, okay. All right. Um, obviously, this is going to be a dynamic punch. This Haunter is at very low health. Must have a Steelix in the back. I don't see him winning in any other way. Uh, going with Haunter, try to catch the charge move, and this has to be a Steelix. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Wow. And missing a few bubbles doesn't really matter. Gonna desperately land, wow, with no HP left. Landing this dynamic punch doesn't even get excellent on it, but GG, wow, <laughs> that, that was nuts. Uh, so um, really interesting play on David's side, not really relying on Shadow Ball, mostly relying on Dusclops to wear down his opponent's uh, Shadow Ball Pokemon. Instead of going in the last video I did, uh, where the post, where the individual um, Sophique, uh relied heavily on two Shadow Ball Pokemon and winning matches with Shadow Ball, choosing to go Dusclops uh, in most of these matches to to fa to faint down uh, his opponent's team was a really interesting strategy. Um, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.